Okay, race seven, the Badgers Owl Trophy Handicap Chase. I'm going to wait for the runners to come up. It's over three mile one furlong. It's a 0 to 140. So, Battle of Agincourt and Battle of Trafalgar for Joshua Sutherland. Black Prince for David Robertson. Ear to the ground for Paul Rhodes. Hart has a wish for Molly at Surfer. Soldiers call for Paul Rhodes. Serpents golf for Jim Murray. Chapter one for Kevin Minahan along with Blind Faith. In James to Del Hinton, the Admiral Bring, Bing for Graham Glatterback, the Pony and Grove for Stu Gray, and Alpha Romeo for James Follows. The flags have been raised and they're already running. They're straight into the first here, and everybody's successfully gone over it. And another 22 to jump. And we're going to be led by Kevin Meanhand's blind faith. He's going to get to the second first, jumps it well. That's the remainder. So we're being led by blind faith. Oh, sorry, Alpha Romeo just poking his head through in the blue silk sort of mid course. One against the fence is Black Prince. All over the second. A few sticky jumps just to the rear. Admiral Bing didn't get over that particularly well, but we're still being led by Blind Faith as we go past the grandstand. The crowd here, it's a lockout. We go past the winning post. I think that may be the first time of three. But we're being led by Blind Faith. He's got about a five length advantage from Napoleon Gray. Gray in the race, we get to the fourth, and everybody's over that. Just coming out of the pack now is Battle of Trafalgar. The one against the fence is Soldiers Call for Paul Rhodes. Widest of all there looks like Battle of Agincourt. Into the ground, just poking in. They're over the water. We've got Jim Murray's Serpent's Golf, followed through by Black Prince. And then just to the rear, we've got Chapter 1 in James and Admiral Bing. So we get to the six, and a poor jump by the lead, and a poor jump by the horse in second. So both Blind Faith and Napoleon Grey went through the top of that. Blind Faith still got the lead by about five. From Soldiers Corn now for Romeo, over the ditch. That's the seventh. And they're still being led by Blind Faith. And he's got about a six, seven length advantage from Soldiers Corn, Napoleon Grey. Followed through by Alpha Romeo into the ground, Battle of Trafalgar and Battle of Agincourt. Between those is here to the ground. A few sticky jumps there again. Here to the ground didn't get over it well. But it's still blind faith, but just by about three now to Soldiers Court. A couple from Napoleon Gray, Alpha Romeo. They get to the ninth. Everybody jumps that well. There's not much in between it. It's probably ten lengths from first to last. And to the back at the moment, of Chapter 1 and Admiral Bing. Up, oh, Blind Faith, happy to bowl along in front. Give him a mean hand. Leads by a couple from Napoleon Grand Soldiers Court. Then we've got Battle of Trafalgar, Alpha Romeo, Battle of Agincourt here to the ground. And a length or so back to in James. Hart has a wish. Serpents Golf wide. Black Prince against the fence. And Admiral Bin in Chapter 1. Just to the rear. There'll be a couple of miles still left to travel. It's still Blind Faith that leads us into the tent. Gets over it well. And we lost one there. Serpent's Golf's gone. Jim Murray's horse. Bad luck. The faller there. And it's still Blind Faith by a few. To Napoleon Great. And then Soldiers Court. Battle of Trafalgar. Alpha Romeo. And Battle of Agincourt. And we're here to the ground. Hart has a wish. Oh, and the leader went straight through the top of that. And his lead's gone. So Blind Faith has had a couple of sticky jumps. And still on his feet, though. And uh, he's joined by Napoleon Gray up front. They're just a length ahead of Battle of Trafalgar as they get to the 12th. A poor jump there by Black Prince. And they're jumping particularly well this lot. Trying to get the Badger's Owl trophy. If we go past the grandstand, get over the 13th. Everybody's over it, and we're losing one there. Black Prince is going. He's being pulled up. Looking there to David Robertson. But we're now being led as we go past the grandstand for the final time. The circuit to go. It's Napoleon Gray that leads us from Blind Faith. They're about three lengths ahead of Battle of, from Battle of Agincourt. Alpha Romeo in James and Ear to the ground. Here we go to the 14th. There's a slow jump there by Hart as a wish towards the rear. Admiral Bing still in the rear. But it's Napoleon Gray. Leads him out on this first turn over the water on the 15th. They're all over it. So they go out towards the back straight. It's Napoleon Grau from Alpha Romeo, Blind Faith, Battle of Trafalgar, Soldiers Court. Here to the ground, they get to the 16th. Oh, and the leader went, oh, he's gone. Slipped his jockey. Napoleon Gray falls there, winner last week over the hurdles. He's not going to win this one. And, well, and another one's gone. They're long, and two there, Battle of Agincourt and Blind Faith have both gone at that fence. So the 17th was unlucky, and that's uh, knocked us down five. A much smaller field now, and we're being led by Alpha Romeo. Gets to the 18th, jumps it well, but a real fast jump there by Soldiers Call. 
So it's Paul Rhodes, James Follis that lead us. From chapter 1 and Battle of Trafalgar, which is Kevin Meenahan and Josh Sutherland. Now, wide is the pink silks of Dell Hinton's in James running well. We've got a couple of lengths back to here to the ground. Admiral Bing and Hart is a wish, and that's all that's remaining. And we're inside the final six furlongs now. So Battle of Trafalgar, Alpha Romeo, Soldiers Call, Chapter 1. These four all together. Being followed through by Ian James in here to the ground as they take this right turn. And Admiral Bing and Hart is a wish got a bit to do from there. So they get to the next, and it looks like Battle of Trafalgar is going to be the one that's going to lead them over it. Well, on the inside is Alpha Romeo in Chapter 1. Soldiers call in between. Horses running on well now is in James. They get over the 20th. Bit of a sticky jump there from in James. So we're in fi final half a mile now. And it's Battle of Trafalgar that heads for home. Alpha Romeo on his inside. The one that's running on well now gone a little bit wide. His soldiers call against the fence is Chapter 1. But it's still Battle of Trafalgar just by a length here. Gets over the 21st. But slowly. And Alpha Romeo jumps it better. Chapter 1 coming through to challenge. Soldiers call running on. But Battle of Trafalgar still got his neck in front here. We're into the final. Final two furlongs and just two to jump. So it's the 22nd. They're over it. Battle Trail gets over it well and starts to pull away from Alpha Romeo. So just pouring chapter one. Running on here to the ground but not going to do anything from there. But it's Battle of Trafal coming up to the last with a furlong left to he gets over it, but on the outside is Soldier's Call. It's Battle of Trafalgar and Soldier's Call. It's between these, but it's Battle of Trafalgar. Battle of Trafalgar is going to hang on here. Takes it from Soldier's Call in second. Running on well is here to the ground in third. And also from the back is Admiral Bring to get up for the small places. So a good win there for Battle of Trafalgar. So Joshua Southern takes it with one of his horses. Battle of Trafalgar wins it. Second was Soldier's Call for Paul Rhodes. Third was here to the ground for Paul Rhodes. So second and third there. Admiral Bing for fourth. Graham Clutterbuck and fifth was chapter one for Kevin Minahan.